Hello, hello, and welcome to B6 Stop Motion. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to animate your stop motion in Dragon Frame once and copy it multiple times in post production using Adobe Premiere Pro. A few things to keep in mind before you head to Premiere Pro or even start animating is that we want our background to not have as much of a gradient. So we want our background to um, look like an even color all the way through. Also, the pattern backgrounds or the ones that have a texture might be a little harder to work with. Also, pay attention to the scale um, of the object that you're using and how many times you want to copy that around. So for example, if you want to copy this six times, uh, maybe you should zoom out a little bit more and give yourself enough room to copy it six times. So I am going to do three times, once on each side. So this is going to work for what I have in mind. But if you're planning on copy your animation a few times more, then uh, maybe you should scale it down a little bit so you don't run into a problem afterwards. I am going to animate this lemon pretty quickly. So I'm going to put it on fast forward and I'll come back with the post-production. So here's the animation and I am going to export it and open it in Premiere Pro. Okay, and there we have it in Premiere Pro. Let me copy this um, video a few times. Also, we want to copy that to a higher layer. Okay, now we have two of the same thing on top of each other. So now we are going to select the one on the top layer. What we are doing is basically masking the higher layer. So we get to see the bottom one and move the higher layer to a different area and then have that loop at the same time. So let's move this layer maybe a little bit to the left or to the right, something like that. And there are a couple ways of getting rid of this area. Um, you can use the mask or an effect, which I'm going to show you the effect first and then the mask later. So on your effect panel, we are going to look for crop and it's under video effects transform and crop with that layer selected we are going to click on crop and it's going to add that to our effect controls panel and what we are trying to do is basically cut from the right side of the video so where it says right we are going to cut it to the edge and you can still see that there is like a harsh line here. We can add um, feather to it as well and it will blend in pretty nicely. Actually, let me move that a little bit to the left and I'm going to use the feather a little bit more maybe. Okay, so now we have two of them turning at the same time. Here is two and if we want to copy it here again, we can do the same thing. Let's copy the original video to the third layer. And for this one, we are going to use the mask. With that video selected, we are going to go to the opacity on the effect control panel. And depending on what your shape looks like, you can use one of these available presets or you can use a free hand pen, which 
just for the sake of the video I will use the free hand click and drag click and drag click and drag will give you these handles and back to the beginning okay so now our uh, layer 3 and the first one are exactly in the same spot because I haven't moved it so let me move um, the entire video to the right side as well so since we had that uh, gradient in the background it's kind of obvious where we cut the edges let's see if we can fix it with um, feather we might not be able to fix that actually that works pretty nice I'll make the mask slightly larger all right there we go now we have the lemon copied three times we can also copy it a few more times for that to loop a little bit longer here is how you can copy your animation a few times in post-production with either using the crop effect from uh, effect panel or using the mask and adding feather to it as well you can copy your animation as many times as you want but here is a quick way of only copying it three times the rules and the basics are the same with using the crop tool or the mask layer um, so feel free to use this in your projects and I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in a the comment section below. If you found value in this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and all the good stuff. That really helps out the channel. As always, thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next one.